Hey, what's going on, guys? How are your meatballs? Today, I'm going to be showing you how to build the Aether Scope in Cold War Zombies, the Machina. The Aether Scope is used for the main Easter egg and for Wonder Weapon upgrades as it spawns in more portals. Elite Solo Easter Egg Guide on my channel right now, as well as all four Elemental DIE Shockwave Wonder Weapon upgrades if needed. Of course, all that will be down below in the description, as long as as well as my Twitch link, I should say, where I stream zombies on Twitch every single day for six plus hours. I'll see you in the live stream, but for now, let's jump right into the guide. So the first thing you need to do is turn on Power and Pack a Punch. Once you've done that, a portal will spawn onto the map in one of three spots. This portal directly corresponds to the location of your first part, as with the Aether Scope parts, not all three parts spawn in at a time, rather, just one at a time. This means that every part remains in its respective location, no matter the order in which they spawn. The three portal locations are, one, Nocturne Totem Roof, which corresponds to the part and spawn right here, two, the Portal Accelerator Room, which corresponds to the part right here next to the teleporter, and finally, three, at the back of the pond, not the front of the pond, but the back of the pond, which corresponds to this part right here in the crash site. Again, wherever the portal is, run immediately to the location of the part that corresponds with that portal. For example, if it's in Noct, then start running to spawn because you know that a part will be in spawn and only spawn to start out with the Aether Scope quest. After you grab that first part, it then appears to be random between the other two locations, so just check the other two locations that I listed before and retrieve the part from them. If you fail to grab all locations in one go, it's fine. Just go into a portal on the next round, it'll probably move, it will move to another location, and you can go in the next round and get your remaining pieces that are in the remaining locations on the following round. One thing to note though is that once you grab one part, it closes off the portal for that area. So, if you have the portal spawn in Noct and you're able to grab the one in Noct, which is spawn, and the one in the crash site, for example, then what you'd want to do is if you don't get going to get them all in one go, then the next time you go into the dark ether mode, you know that your final part will be at the particle accelerator room. That's it. Hopefully this cleared the air for people who are a little confused, but all you have to do is go downstairs now and simply build the ether scope at this table right here, and you should be good to go. There's a lot of misinformation out there, so just a heads up on how the portals work. I will see you guys in the next video. Take care of your meatballs. I've been wishing for some better days Could you listen, no way Can you stay? I write love songs for a day